The following program was brought to you by Tiger Media Net. That program being, it came from the DVD collection. Hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm John Billinger and this is... I'm Connor Keating. And we have special guest star, Aiden Hammond. Yep, these guys wanted me on for another time, and who am I to deny them my beautiful voice? And yes. and we are uh, in the DJ booth for once. Okay, well, anyway, today we are talking about a uh, bit of a different movie than we usually do. We're doing a Disney Channel original movie. But still a monster movie. Uh, it has it in the title. It's ghosts. They're not ghosts. They are ghosts. Keep up with the lore. They're not ghosts. Uh, gee, anyway, we're doing to the 2012 Disney Channel original movie Girl vs. Monster solely because Connor mentioned it last week as a joke. Yeah. I think and we were talking – what were we talking about? We were we're talking about Nickelodeon sitcoms. No, it was even funnier because it's like somehow we were talking about – we were talking about the green slime, right? Green slime! We were talking about the green slime and that, of course, led to Nickelodeon and that spiraled into just like Disney Channel and Nickelodeon sitcoms and original films. And I brought up Girl vs. Monster and we were like um, – yeah, let's. Wa- John was like, you know what? Let- we're gonna watch that. We're gonna watch that for the podcast. And so here and we then are. The next one we're watching next week is uh, Fred Two. Fred Two. Night which, of the Living Fred. Which also came out of the same conversation. Yeah. It's just, and we're gonna force Aiden to watch. You looking forward to that one, Aiden? I'm glad. He just dumped out that. a Sonic salt packet, and no, there's nothing it had, in it. It had yeah, it had no salt in it. It was quite hilarious. But yeah, no, I'm. I gotta say, uh, when you guys told me about uh, Fred 2, Night of the Living Fred, I didn't exactly remember what you were talking about. And then it all came back to me. Videos about squirrels and... Um, oh, hey, it's Fred! Ga- uh, gamut? Wasn't it, isn't that what he said? Oh, yes, gamut. that is what he like, said. Like gamut or something? He, did, he, did he say that in the, show, in, like, the YouTube yes, videos? Yes, or? yes that was what he said in the show. Okay, I don't Anyways, remember. we should probably talk about Grover's Mother. We'll save that for next time. That's yes. for next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I did not, unlike, Fre- quit doing that. Yeah. Unlike Rockets. Fred 2, I did not watch this movie when it came out. Fred so 2, I he didn't... was like, they're, they're day one, but not Grover's Monster. Yeah, well, Fred, I was a character I was, we'll get to it next week. Yeah. Okay, but the Girl vs. Monster, I might have saw a trailer for it when it was came, came out in October of 2012. Because I do remember around that time there was like a, a bunch of ads for Disney Channel shows, um, doing Halloween episodes. Yeah. Like I, I, the only one I remember out of that specifically is like the Summer Ween episode of Gravity Falls. That, that's a classic. Yeah, that's a certified classic right there. Um, but I do not remember watching Girl vs. Monster at all. Wow, which uncult- is weird because I remember when I remember th- some of the other like Disney Channel original movies that came out at that time, like. Teen Beach movie. <laughs> the Teen Beach movie. I remember when that one came out because for some reason I loved making fun of that with my friends, and my friends were like, Why did you watch <laughs> Did Do you remember uh, My Babysitter's a Vampire? That show was good. No, I don't remember that one. Yeah, that was around the same time, I think. Um, well, so, yeah, I. I, I, I was I, deathly afraid of vampires yeah. at the time, so. I grew up with um, Girl vs. Monster. It was probably like. I don't think I was like ever like a big fan of any of the Disney Channel original films except this one. This one, like any time it was really? on, not even Smart House or uh, what? You ever seen? You Smart just House? made that up. No, that's a real movie. Anyways, <laughs> this is movie. like this is like the only Dis- Disney Channel original film where it's like when it was on, I would sit down you didn't watch and High School Musical. Listen. No, I was not a High School Musical <laughs> Wait, really? guy at you all. Never saw it like just when it was on. No, just High School Musical was on like all the time. I don't think I ever sat I down and watched it. it well it's a pretty sh- i probably i probably swear, switched sorry. over to um almost did nickelodeon when that was on or animal planet when mm. high school musical came on but no cartoon network no but for grover's a monster wow. you know wow. you sit down and listen do you remember this movie aiden like like we discussed when we were watching the movie i don't i don't remember it some scenes felt familiar to me but I have no cognizant memories <laughs> of watching the movie. Some scenes like made some sort of memories bubble up, but I, I'm convinced I 
didn't watch the movie but did watch the movie you probably like watch just like parts of it that were on tv maybe. or the, or they just saw the trailer it's very much possible so yeah i don't know maybe like watched half of it before i went out trick-or-treating or something yeah. i don't know something like that i never watched it yeah what a loser but now you have but now you all have and you have seen the pinnacle of cinema the greatest nope. movie that disney has ever made nope, nope. um mm. unironically nope Nope. This movie crushes all other Disney films, such as um, Holes nope. and The Black Hole. Nope. And <laughs> like those are the ones you bring. Up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. So some background on the movie, like production background on the. You movie. have production background on this movie. I don't even know the production background I mean, on this uh, movie. It was filmed in the same woods that Twilight New Moon was shot in. Awesome. And uh, also, apparently, Ennio Morricone was uh, offered to do the soundtrack but he turned it down because they didn't offer him enough money we have that fact true fact true fact true fact 100 percent verified definitely didn't just edit the wikipedia article <laughs> yeah so don't shh 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 sh- 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 we're, we're gonna cite this as a source okay sorry 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 yes yeah, yeah, so yeah. what are your general thoughts on the movie connor we already know you're a big fan of i'm it. a big fan of this movie this movie For is peak reason. cinema no um I, I can't think of any problems with the film. It's got, I mean, Aiden pointed out, it's got great pacing. Yeah. Uh, great action sequences, great sound design. Um, the blaster. Okay. This, yeah, the blaster, w- iconic. Yeah, well, the blaster did have a very cool sound effect, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that's our big compliment for the film that everybody can agree on is that the gun sounded cool. That could be like the uh, critics quote on the DVD. <laughs> The, if they even still make the DVDs gun for this sound movie effect anymore, is good. <laughs> Disney, please use that. The only criticism I will send at the film is that the soundtrack could use some work, right? Yeah. I think the original songs not great, but I think maybe the actual soundtrack not too shabby. Yeah. It, yeah. It's spooky when it needs to be spooky. Well, you know, they yeah. did. They were going to get Ennio Morricone, <laughs> but he said no. Yeah, real uh, shame. Aiden, what are your thoughts on the general thoughts on the movie? I thought it very much felt like an early what two or nearly two thousand ten Disney movie. It felt felt very much within that era, like Teen Beach movie, like you said, uh, My Babysitter's a Vampire, things things of that sort that would normally be shown uh, regularly on Disney or for Halloween specifically. But I did really uh, enjoy like some of the uh, just some of the simple yet kind of clever monster designs. Like we most of the non main baddies were uh, just heads honestly they were just floating they were heads floating heads with fog behind them exactly it, yeah simple it's, design yet i mean kids can understand it so yeah it's interesting how they pulled off the different monsters because like a couple of them are just straight cgi and it's not great cgi right but some of them are very clearly like a guy with makeup that they have like you know like cropped out you know his neck and uh, everything behind him and whatnot it's so it, it gives some of the monsters like a kind of like a weird sort of off-putting look to them where it's like very clearly like they're enveloped in weird fog CGI, but that's like a real like physical head. Like, you know, like that's covered in like goblin makeup or whatever. Yeah. It gives the monsters just like a, a really weird look. As for me, I just, eh, meh. <laughs> It's just it's a I, it's I don't the know. Disney Channel original film. Yeah, that's <laughs> I yeah, didn't really get so much out of it. You can sing. Like I, I don't really have anything good or bad to say about it. It's just eh, you know. I mean, it's better than something I would have watched on the CW. <laughs> <laughs> but as it stands, it's like even back then, I thought the Disney Channel original movies were kind of bland. No, that most of <laughs> and them the Nickelodeon are. Nickelodeon Nickel- original movies were bland, and the yeah. Cartoon Network original. Well, actually, well, there were some good Cartoon Network original. Yeah, movies. don't you dare yeah. talk bad about Cartoon Network original movies. I well, will. I will for one uh, reanimated, which I'm doing a review for, <laughs> yeah. which hopefully should be out by the time this review gets out. But um, this movie, it was just kind of like, eh. I yeah, I think well, you know, on the thing of like all of them are very bland movies. I think that's kind of why. Like, as a kid, this movie stood out. Stands out. Yeah, yeah. because it's like... Um, well, if you want a movie that really stands out, you should check out Smart House. No. Because <laughs> it was just like... Because, you know, I'm a monster movie fan. And so it's like, okay, here is like a monster movie on Disney Channel, right? I, I think as a, even as a kid, I knew it was stupid and goofy, but it was still like... It's sort of a fun, goofy and stupid. And it's one of those... Um, 
Would you guys say that this is a so bad as good kind of movie? But it takes um, it, it takes. I it would th- say it's more of a just just mediocre movie. It's not terrible. That, it's, I want to well, go with that mediocre. Well, movie. I mean, like it's, in the it's sense not, of it's not good enough to be a so bad it's good movie. I mean like in the sense of it's uh, not a great film but at least it's fun and amusing to watch with friends oh yeah no, whereas yeah, you've got you know like other right. shows like uh, other movies like you know Land Unknown where it's like this is not so bad it's good this is just bad maybe if you had some beers and watched Land Unknown <laughs> that'd be a funner movie maybe if I was dead <laughs> um I don't know. It's for, well, there's definitely some unintentional laughs to have in this movie, particularly with the uh, CGI in some places. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you underpay your animators, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just overall, eh, it's just bland. So, Should uh, I get into the story? Yes, and I'm going to let uh, Connor... Because he knows this movie. I know this movie like the back of my hand. It was so funny watching. So sad. It was so funny watching this movie with these guys because we weren't really paying attention because we were like riffing on it the whole time, of course. And so I had to like stop and be like, "Okay, guys, I've got to explain the lore of this movie real quick, constantly." Deep lore. The deep lore of Girl vs. Monster, Monster. a Disney Channel original film. You're literally just describing what happens on screen that we did not see because we were too busy. (laughs) Because you're making busy laughing. This is gonna be like the time my cousin explained to me the uh, Hannah Montana. Universe. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so here's the here's the rundown, or right? My other cousin explained the Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> timeline, like the full thing. The full. We thing. don't have time to get into. We that. don't have time. We're right. not ever getting into. We that. have to, we have to get into the girl versus the monster lore. Okay, okay, so there's this girl. She's named Skylar, high school girl, right? She's uh, you know, she's like, I think she's the singer for like this guy who likes her and they like she's each other not, but they no, don't she's know she's not it. no she's not a singer for the band she's not even in the band when the movie starts okay then she she likes the guy who is in a band but the guy who's in the band is currently dating someone else kind of was the, that the plot <laughs> you're the one that I, this you're is the what one I, I was all okay like, anyways I watch this movie every time anyways I was a kid. <laughs> Anyways, I wasn't paying attention to that part of the plot. Anyways, so basically this girl, she's her name's Skylar, and her weird thing Skylar is that White. is that she is not scared of anything. Meanwhile, she's got like these two sort of like not like loser loser friends, but like, you know, less popular friends. Like one of them's got like a stage fright, the other one's just scared of everything, right? Um, but yeah, yeah, Skyler, one, one is, of them's like the uh, like the geeky kid you yeah. always make fun of. I wouldn't even call him geeky. He's just normal. Yeah, he's just a yeah, normal guy. guy. I don't think he really did anything geeky. No, what, what he like bully, video games. What did the bully talk to call him at the end of it? Didn't he call him Dorkula or something? Dorkatron, and Dorkatron. then he and then he called and then he called him that. Well, back. we shouldn't get into spoilers. Don't get in, yeah. That's the end sure, of the film. Spoilers. Anyways, so spoilers for a Disney Channel original basically, movie that came out in 2012. Basically, Skylar's shtick is that she's not scared of anything because her parents are monster hunters, right? Um, and so, basically, each of the monsters are, like, attached to a different person and feed off of their fear. And around Halloween time... Kind of like Monsters Incorporated. Anyways, it, around the... Um, Wow, that's crazy, Aiden. Around the time that it's Halloween, the monsters get powerful enough to gain, like, a physical form because, oh, there's so much fear in the air. Anyways... But they, the, her parents basically took care of Skylar's um, monster when she was a little girl. And so because of that, she's, like, never been scared of anything, right? Anyways, she wants it's to go to... It's kind of like the plot of Harry Potter. Yeah. And Ghostbusters. I, yeah. I probably just made a lot of Harry Potter fans very angry <laughs> for that comparison. So, basically, um, she, you know, Skylar... Wants to go to this party with her friends, but her parents, who are the monster hunters, you know, they want to keep her inside, protect her. And like, no, you're staying home with our weird um, employee. What it, employee guy. Uh, play some board games, right? Go of course, to, go tea, man. She Skylar wants to sneak out, and so she cuts the power to their house for some reason. Why? Which why, I don't know why. Why does she? Cut don't the power? I don't. What was the plan? I don't know that? what the plan was. Anyways, that causes the monster in trouble. capture machine to be deactivated and all the monsters escape including Skylar's monster so now for the first time in like her entire life she has felt fear and so they're like okay crap we have to go and stop all the monsters and so her and her friends have to pretty much just gear up in order to take down these monsters at this party um I don't know that that's pretty much the gist of the plot the, the party's at like this haunted mansion uh, I won't get into any I won't get into the the M. Night Shyamalan spoilers and twists twist? with that I would not even call that a twist no that's a twist I'm pretty sure they established it at that, the beginning of the movie no that's a major twist anyways 
Don't don't even talk about it. Don't talk about it. I don't want to spoil right. Grover's Moss for anybody. For, um, so yeah, that's pretty much the plot. Shut up! You better edit that out. Bleep that out. Okay. All right. And so that's yeah, that's the plot of. Was Grover's it? I Moss. thought it was the beep. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what do you think of the story? Oh, it's it's uh, grade A cinema. This it's, is it's basically it's like they took a bunch of fiction. stuff and mashed it together. Mm-hmm. Though. Yeah, they took Ghostbusters, uh, Harry Potter, uh, Danny Phantom. Yeah, <laughs> and just <laughs> all right, that's our movie. Monster Hunter. <laughs> monster Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter. It's a better monster. It's it's the I told that? these guys this is like the best Monster Hunter movie out of the three of them. <laughs> monster. Just by proxy. That was like a Toho series, right? No, it, it's a it's a Capcom video game that got turned into a movie by the Resident Evil guy. Yeah, I said it was produced by Toho, which is true, but like they barely I thought you said like the hand. second one was produced by Toho. Well, this is the first one. Then you have well, you yeah. know, Gamera Guardian of the Universe was apparently produced by Toho. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Girl vs. Monster. And yet they won't do Godzilla vs. Gamera. No. What did you think of the story, Aiden? I thought the story was very. I mean, obviously it's a kids' movie, so they can't go too uh crazy with the yeah they can't they narrative. can't show anything teenagers actually do at parties yeah uh but no i felt like i felt like it was a very good um plot for kids to enjoy i'm not saying that it you know i know i'm i am just gonna say it. the plot was very simple very easy to follow it you could honestly have the movie on in the background and kind of not really lose track of what the heck's happening so well, I had to explain the I'd, plot to I'd you guys constantly. I'd be confused some point if I didn't have Connor. <laughs> they had to explain the I plot been, of the I would movie. have turned it off like a couple minutes in if I didn't. You guys if this wasn't my, my job. investigative. It does take like 20 minutes to get to like them releasing the yeah. monsters. But yeah. as Aiden pointed out many times, this movie is fantastically paced. Flew by Yeah, for well, being an yeah, hour and a half. It's a yeah. Disney Channel original movie, so they're yeah. pretty much manufactured yeah, this, to have good pacing. This movie was an hour and a half long, and in, we started it at 9 o'clock. We were done by, I think, 11, roughly? 10.30. I think we kept, 30, we roughly. kept pausing the movie and making jokes. Yes. We finished it at 10.30, and for some reason, I felt like it was still like 9.30. Yeah. I have no clue what the heck happened to that extra hour, but it was it, an it's odd ca- time. It's called... You witnessed Kino. The, no. <laughs> no. The Twilight Zone. You, you've entered the, the dun, Twilight dun, Zone. Dun. The Twilight Zone is just watching Girl vs. Monster. That would be, that'd be hell. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Uh, it's just mediocre. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Well, what are you going to say about like, Fred 2? I feel like I'm going to have a lot more to talk about Fred 2. <laughs> The question will be, will this, will Girl vs. Monster or Fred 2 be the better film? And here's, here's also the question. Will either of those two videos be our most highly rated video, like most views? I, I hope that this video gets over a thousand views. I'm hoping Fred 2 does. I yeah, mean, I hope Fred 2 does. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, you just become overnight successes. Become overnight successes from watching stupid uh, Disney and Nick original films. Yeah, we'll yes. Make a career out of it. It's like... Well, I guess next time we're going to have to watch Rags. Yeah. Wait, or, wait. Uh, I guess next time we have to watch uh, 13th Year. <laughs> wait, wait till our viewers find Smart out that house. find out that neither of these m- movies came from the DVD collection. Yikes. Well, I think there's been one or two I mean, times we where we watched we, we didn't have a DVD player. Okay, but that time I still own The Return of Godzilla or Godzilla uh, 1985. Or Shin Godzilla. We reviewed Shin Godzilla. No, we didn't. We reviewed Minus oh, no, One. No, Minus One. Sorry, I got it. Well, now I own that one on DVD, so it's okay. Anyways. Consistency. Consistency. We still don't have a copy of uh, The Lost Skeleton Returns again, though. Yeah. Unfortunate. Or, yeah. Please send that to Tiger Media Net FHSU. Please. Anyway. Uh, What's next on the list? John, acting. you're across the room from us, so I don't know. Yeah, the acting was so great. It's 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 a Dis- it's a Disney Channel yeah. original movie job. I, I think like we can all agree that on most subjects it's like it, it's six, fine. It's like sixes or fives across the yeah. board. Yeah, there's nothing where it's like oh that's bad acting. It's just fine. Yeah, I think that I think the main guy had some like cheesy lines around the end when he like turned evil, but I think that's more of like just a fault of the writing of Spoiler the film. Spoiler alert! Oh, I'm sorry. I spoiled. You're spoiling. I spoiled Girl vs. Monster, Monster. a movie from 2012. <laughs> You got mad at me for Good. talking about the uh, the monsters. Oh, 
That's okay. consistency. Hey, that's that's called consistency. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, but yeah, it's just it's all just mediocre acting. I do like I do appreciate the villains like camping it up. Yeah, the and the all, villains like, camping it up. Great. It's like a '60s Batman villain or something yeah. like that, or Vincent Price. I like I like the uh, the Scarecrow. He's my favorite. I don't favorite. think Vincent Price could uh, do do it campier. Uh, but. Yeah, and then the, the the parents just doing parents. Oh yeah, stuff the parents are like for like half the movie, and then they get they're captured. such like a minor part. They they get captured like almost immediately, and they're out of like the film for most of the run yeah, time. You can tell like the parent, like the actors playing the parents were probably just like, oh, okay, I'm getting a paycheck for this. Yeah, yeah. You just say my lines and uh, do the actions, and there we go. Now I can go home with the uh, the Christmas present money <laughs> or birthday present money for my kids or whatever. whatever. Either way, I mean, it's, it was probably a good chunk of change, though. I mean, it is Disney, so... I wonder if they were on anything else. Uh, well, they were almost in uh, Django Unchained. <laughs> Shut up, no, they weren't. And uh, the John, Hateful why Eight. Did, why, did, why must you spread misinformation? Why must you spread mis- in- misinformation about Girl vs. Monsters? Uh, it's, it's true information. It's going to make it on the Wikipedia. Okay, let me page. check. Okay, the mom was in, um, I don't know... Vanilla Sky with uh, Tom Cruise in a vi- very minor role. I was going to say, yeah. And let's see, what was the dad in? The dad was in um, The Social Network. That sounds familiar. Thank you for smoking. Daddy Daycare. Thank you for smoking. That's a good movie. Pee Wee's Big Holiday. Okay, so, uh, the dad was in, so the dad was in, um, you know, Peak cinema like Daddy Daycare. And thank you for smoking. That's a really good movie. Like Daddy Daycare. No. So, yeah. All-star cast. Um, you know, the rest of the cast. The main girl was in nothing. Um, we thought it was Debbie Ryan when you first Yeah, I thought, the poster. I thought the – see, for ages, like the poster is so weird because it looks like the person on the poster is Debbie Ryan in a crappy blonde wig. But after like closer inspection, I like been surprised. Yeah, it was so weird. But like after closer nah, inspection, she was in that sixteen wishes movie. Yeah, after Where closer inspection, was. it's it's the main actress. But for for ages, I like you know you look at this poster and it's like that is not the chick in this movie, and it's just because she's like posed weirdly and she's got a weird expression. Okay, so how about the effects on their peak? You're not I saying that, dude. I thought, I thought the effects were honestly Quit spreading misinformation. <laughs> I thought the effects were honestly, uh, they're fine. Honestly, nice. I, uh, for like a, the, the, for sm- a Disney the Channel effects, original movie, yeah, the it's smoke fine. effects, smoke the blur effects, effects that came with all the, the, monsters. the lasers beam. Effects. Yeah, the lasers. The, it's just when you have that CGI dog whose head suddenly expands and barks. <laughs> then it's call, like, okay, that that made that us happens. laugh though. We okay. were all like, I <laughs> called that. Um, it's, it's, I don't know what I would have. Thought about it when oh, I was then there's, a kid. There's that one scene of the the tree stump where it's like flying in the air, and it's like it's like color is like totally not matching the yeah, background. Just imagine the our uh, uh, special effects uh, teacher being we, like, I, I, uh, "We need to add more, um, you know, shader to that." Yeah, to make it more <laughs> is he gonna hear this? Uh, probably, I hope he does. Probably. Oh. <laughs> Hi, how you doing, Mr. Schleicher? <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to call people up by name on this. So. No, we've I mean, we've it, done it before. Your, he's it's your guys' fine. podcast. It's not uh, the most dangerous thing we ever done on this podcast. Yeah. Anyway, most dangerous thing we ever did was the. Oh, the, sh- 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 we shouldn't talk about that for legal reasons. <clears throat> it was really funny though. The most dangerous Anyways, game. The most dangerous game. <laughs> Next time, no, 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 we're not, we're not. No, next time is Fred Two. We've Fred established two. that. Now, I was going to say, I wonder. What it would have been like as a kid watching this effect? Because, you know, when you're a kid, you're probably blind to some of the effects. That's what I was saying know. earlier about, like, the monster designs. Like, I feel like like there's that one monster where it's, like, the, like the you know, the gray goblin head where it's got, like, the ears and the big nose. I feel like that effect would probably freak a kid out because it just, like, because it, cause it's a real, you know, like, mask, like, person with a mask. But it's, like, weirdly, like, CGI cropped out so that it's a floating head. And it just kind of, like... It gives off a really kind of like weird, eerie vibe that I feel like would creep, you know, like you know, I mean, a kid I'm, out. I mean, like, would the effects look realistic to you as a kid? Probably not the probably not the CGI, like the floating stump yeah. and stuff is like, I, yeah, that's I, silly. Like, I remember watching uh, Scooby Doo: The Mystery Begins <laughs> in two thousand nine. Oh, is like, that the Cartoon Network one? Yeah, that's, that's okay. Network that's one. a Cartoon Network original film I have seen. Yeah, I remember watching that and thinking, wow, the 
whatever it is, the effects on Scooby Doo look really bad. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, I don't think we really have much else to say about Girl vs. Monster. Sure, so we do. Uh, do we have anything else left on there? No. No. Oh. <laughs> we don't have anything else. We've blown through our entire. What did you guys think of the original songs, though? I already forgot with the original <laughs> songs. Very much a product very much products of their time i think yeah it, it definitely was a nostalgia kick you know remembering disney channel original yeah music well the entire time i was sitting there like oh there, there's this one song sung by like the main girl from ant farm that was tied into this whatever movie. her name is yeah i thought it was zendaya at first no the song was like was called uh calling all the monsters it was a song that they would play constantly uh, like during commercials on remember. disney channel yeah i know you're old you're an old man but the thing is that that movie... I'm like two years older than you. Despite being tied in with this movie, like at least in my brain, does not play in this movie whatsoever. And I was a little disappointed, even though the song's not good either. But Well, um, maybe we'll play that song. No, we will not. End cre- no, we won't, because we don't need those lawyers after us. <laughs> don't play- want the Disney lawyers after us. Yeah. You stole our Disney Channel original song. Yeah. So, final thoughts. Like, what what rating would you give this movie out of ten? This is a ten out of ten, yeah. easy. I think I would give it. Yeah, I, I think I like I said, uh, kind of fives or sixes across the board. So, I think I would give this about a uh, six uh, screaming dog heads out of ten. Hey, that's that's better than that means good. Six is good. I'm going to give it a uh, five um, smelly dog turds out of ten. So that what that means to translate to the viewers is that this film is indeed better than Ape vs. Monster. Well, yeah. That's not Ape, a high bar to clear. That's not a high bar. Ape vs. Monster is probably one of the worst movies we've ever done I because think, that movie literally gave us nothing to talk I about. I think it is hilarious that this film did have much better effects. I mean, it's a Disney Channel movie. And, and more it, like monster screen time than Ape vs. Monster. Monster. It was an indie project. It wasn't even made by no. any like, large studio. Yes, it was. It was made by The Asylum. The Asylum that's made hundreds and hundreds of monster movies. It's, it, it's still not great effects. But anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, five uh, dog turds out of ten. What, what, now, be serious here. What's your actual legitimate rating for this movie? Oh, ten. This is a ten. Um, ten. Uh, oh, I gotta. Th- I gotta think of something. Um, uh, uh, ten. Um, ten girls ten breaking their braces. necks out of ten. Yeah. Neck, ten. Oh yeah, braces. yeah, yeah. This one girl. There was this. The bully girl. Gag. Yeah, the bully girl. There was this running gag. Where she kept falling down stairs or getting her head yeah. like broken. Or something. <laughs> it's uh, such a weird r- thing to like have a running times. gag. Dude, it's an awesome running gag. It's why this movie's peaked because again, it again, shows a girl getting her. <laughs> to be fair, uh, well, I suppose there's worse um, running gags you could have. I mean, there's no toes or anything. Yeah, not, it's, this is not a Dan Schneider Nick- production. It's not a Nickelodeon original movie, that's for sure. That'll be the next one. We'll see. Uh, I, <laughs> is there anything like that? In the I don't think so. Of- well, there's the ab scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. All right. Oh, well, that's actually. I'm sorry. I just noticed that a, a hilarious parallel is that both of the these movies reference Twilight. Yeah, Th- this do. and Fred Two. Yeah, both they both reference, reference well, Twilight. Can you really say that Girl vs. Monster referenced? Yes, Twilight? you had the scene where they're like, they're like, all right, what's new in horror? Oh, Stephen King wrote a book, uh, but it's a um, horror fiction. But it, but it's history. It's fiction. history fiction, and there's a bunch of vampire movies that are popular. But their romances. Okay, I guess that, that's that's pretty much that, that's the and, and, only and Fred too has a straight up like skit. Yeah, dedicated that to that is. Yeah, we'll get to that next time. That's I'm a looking, teaser for next time. Looking forward to it. Anyway, just yeah, join us next week for Fred Dose, Night of the Living Fred, if you dare. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Connor, do you have anything else to say to the uh, audience? Go out and watch Girl vs. Monster. On Disney Plus right now, it's the only reason to even have a Disney Plus subscription. No, Aiden. Usually, do you, have you don't say anything, but okay. Uh, Aiden, uh, have any final thoughts? Special guest star. Thank you all for having me on this podcast. I uh, hope you all listeners stay safe. See you next time. All right, everyone, have a good rest of your day. Thank you. This podcast was hosted and produced by John Billinger 
and Connor Keating. The movie covered, Girl vs. Monster, is the property of the Walt Disney Company. This has been a Tiger Media Net production.